Morning everyone. This will be a quick video aiming to help you identify the auxiliary verbs in a sentence and gain an understanding of how they work. This video will be a sort of series of short videos looking at the different types of verb. I'll put a link in the description to the other videos as well as a link to the slides which you can download for free if you want them. I'd suggest watching the video that explains what verbs are first and then coming back to this one. There are lots of different types of verbs, some of which are listed here, but this isn't even a full list. There are more types such as non-finite verbs and infinitive verbs and more. And we're just going to focus on one of these today. Auxiliary verbs are a little more subtle. They might not jump out at you in a sentence, but they are still verbs nonetheless. Ready for some heavy grammar? There are only three auxiliary verbs in the English language, be, do, and have, along with the different tenses and versions of these words. So for example, for do, you have does, did, and will do, the different tenses. An auxiliary basically means to provide extra help, and that's exactly what auxiliary verbs do. Most of the time, Auxiliary verbs are used in combination with other types of verbs, and they are used to help show things such as the tense of a sentence. Take the sentence, I have finished my sandwich. We can pick out the nouns easy enough. Then we find the verb. And then we see that the auxiliary verb is left. However, they can also be used on their own, as they are in the sentence, Layla is happy. Note that all you would have to do is change the auxiliary verb to change the tense. So Layla is happy becomes Layla was happy. A lot of auxiliary verbs are hidden in sentences in the contractions as well. For example, when I am becomes I'm. There's still an auxiliary verb in there, it's just hiding. Pause the video and see how many auxiliary verbs you can pick out from the box on the right. And the answers are colour coded here. You can mark this one yourself. A key thing to note with verbs is that the type of verb can change depending on the context of the sentence. And if you want to challenge yourself, try and identify the auxiliary verbs in this extract from The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And that is auxiliary verbs in a nutshell. Try adding auxiliary verbs to your revision cards and add them in to your next analysis to boost your marks. Thanks for watching and happy revising.